Oh, hey, Jack. Hello. What you up to today? Just eating a poonchki. Poonchki. Yeah. Today's Fat Tuesday, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, see? Oh, oh, sh oh crap. shoot. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Well, guess what? You've dropped it in the right place. <laughs> That's we're true. Gonna, we're going to show how to get this out. <laughs> well, Jackie accidentally dropped a punch key today on Tuesday, which is also happens to be punch key day. So have a little bit of punch key abuse to take care of. Fortunately, she dropped it on a piece of carpet that just happened to be laying here. So I'm going to bring it up here so we can see what, how to take this out real quick. Now this is a pretty much a completely sugar-based spill. And what I would do first is want to get rid of this. So we'll take this and throw it in the garbage. And now we're dealing with uh, powdered sugar and some jelly, which probably has a little bit of animal fat in it and sugars and water. So the first thing we're going to do, well, if I happen to have Rundle certified spot cleaner available, I'm going to use this because this will work extremely well on these spots. If I don't have that, what I'm going to do is take 32 ounces of water, just regular tap water, and I'm going to take Dawn dish detergent. This is not dishwasher detergent, this is dish detergent, so the, the type you wash by hand. And this is actually the ultra version, which is double strength. So we want to make sure that we don't put too much in here. We're going to put a half a load of Dawn that we'd normally use because it's double strength. So what we're going to do is instead of a full teaspoon, I'm going to take about a half of a teaspoon here and just drop it in. Since some sticking in there, I'm just going to put just a tiny bit, <coughs> excuse me, put a tiny bit more in. That should be good. All right, now I just put the lid on and I'm going to shake it up real good. What I'm looking for is a little bit of not spray, but uh, foam. And this one, because there's oxygen that's pushing out from the bubbles, it's uh, wanting to spray on me. So, okay. Next, I want to just pick this stuff up without getting it wet. I'm just going to take a dry white towel. Make sure you use a white towel so it doesn't transfer color onto the carpet. Otherwise, you have a, a different issue to deal with. And maybe I'll take a vacuum cleaner or just take this and I know what I'll do. Take a little bit of my Dawn mix and just kind of get this up. This part, the sugar, powdered sugar is pretty easy to get up. It's just sugar and water. Okay, that's good enough. You can get kind of get the idea. Now I'm dealt with or uh, left with two red raspberry stains. So what I'm going to try first is the Rendles. I have Rendles, towel directions, shake it up well. Taking fresh white towel. Again, it's got to be white. And I can spray it right on the towel. That way I'm not saturating this carpet because it's only the tips that are soiled on here. And I'm just going to lightly blot it up. I'm not going to ever rub it or scrub it. If I need a little bit of extra agitation, what I'm going to do is take my towel, get that extra dishwasher soap or dish soap off of there, and I'm actually just going to move it towards the center. If I move it away, then of course my stain gets bigger. So that seems to be working pretty well. Try a little bit more. I'm just going to blot it. And if I need to, at the very end here, I might spray it. Doesn't look like I'm going to need to, so never mind. But look, look how it's moving into the towel real easily. One more time. Okay, and just if there's any powder left, just do the same thing. Now when this dries, the powder might come back. Just vacuum it out. If it's still there, go ahead and just spray it again. Spray your towel and just uh, blot it out. Okay, for the other spot, I'll go ahead and use the Dawn Mix. Oops. Um, what I'm thinking is I'll just go ahead and spray it on the towel again instead of on the spot. Same thing, I'm just going to kind of work my way from the outside, never rubbing it. I'm kind of blotting it and pushing it. I'm not scrubbing it. And I'm not using a brush either. Make sure you never use a brush on your carpeting. Yeah. 
and it's coming out a little bit slower, but it's coming out. All right, and that's uh, that looks pretty good. Again, if I want to, I can put some on here and kind of work it towards the center, making sure I'm not pushing it outward. And I'm going to take the dry part of the towel and just tamp it off of there. Same thing over here where I use the rundle spotter just to get the, any excess out. Let it dry. We're done. Okay, well, happy punch key day. And uh, if you have any punch key casualties, just use the old uh, rundle certified spotter trick. Or if you don't have any of that, you can use the Dawn, a little bit of Dawn dish detergent with 32 ounces of water. Thanks a lot.